Let's dive right in. You saw the title. You looked at the thumbnail and it intrigued you so you know what we're gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about not eating on a Monday. And I'm gonna give you all the reasons that I can come up with why I think it's a great thing. So hold on. There you go. That's your intro. I know it was long and detailed, and but I don't like long intros. I like to get right to the meat of the matter. So let's do that. I'm sitting out here on the back porch, looking back at my five acres back there and listening to the birds and the squirrels and all the wildlife on this fine spring morning in May. And if you see me looking down, it's because I'm reading from a script because I want to make sure I don't forget anything. And that's the only reason you'll catch me looking down to look at my notes, okay? So some people have called this the monk fast. I've seen it called mealless Monday. I've seen it called a number of things. Uh, I just call it this. Don't eat on Monday, D-E-O-M. If you want an acronym, DOM, 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 whatever. Don't eat on Monday. That's what I call it. And that's what I do. Why? Well, there's so many reasons to do this. And those of you who know me already know that I'm an intermittent faster. And I've made that my lifestyle since uh, February of this year. And since February 28th to now, it's uh, May the 11th, I have lost 41 pounds. I didn't starve myself. I just simply followed intermittent fasting protocols and the weight has gone its way. And not only that, uh, other things have happened within my body. And part of those other things are because I don't eat on Mondays. And so let's dig a little deeper. Now, I said I'd tried other protocols. I've done alternate day fasting. I've done OMAD, which is one meal a day. I've done TMAD, which is two meals a day. I've done them all, I've mixed and mingled, but this one constant is what I keep coming back to because it seems to be the thing that works for me. It may not work for you, but I would be willing to try it if I were you. So, let's get into it. Before I talk about Mondays, let's talk about the other days. You're gonna say, well, what do you do the rest of the days? Well, I mix and mingle. One day I might do OMAD. The next day I might do TMAD. TMAD being two meals a day. And even though I eat two meals a day, I eat reasonable. That is a huge thing. Just because you fasted for 18 hours or 20 hours or even the 36 hour money, don't think you need to sit there and fill up the tank. You don't. You just simply need to eat something. You need to put something back into your stomach. And hopefully it'll be something that's good and protein and have a lot of veggies. And I tend to believe that the less sugar that you can get by with, the better off that you are. So we know what I do for the rest of the days. And during those days, even if it's OMAD or TMAD, I make sure that I fast for at least 18 hours. That way I'm getting some fat burning in and I love fat burning. I love those ketones. Back to Mondays. Monday actually begins for me at eight o'clock in the evening on Sunday. That's usually my bedtime. That's when I go to bed. I will go to bed and I'll sleep and I'll wake up and I won't eat a single thing again until Tuesday morning at eight, eight in the morning. And that's when I'll break that fast. How will I break that fast? My normal way to break that fast is with some eggs, some cheese. I like to make scrambled cheesy eggs or I'll make a, 
a two egg omelet. I, I don't ever eat any more than two eggs on that on that breakfast, that breakfast. But I always put in some veggies. I love cabbage, cabbage and onions and bell peppers and carrots, and you saute it all up and you mix it in with those eggs. And that mixture of vegetables and protein is a wonderful way to break that fast. And I'll do that, like I said, about eight o'clock in the morning on Tuesday. Now my fasting, make sure that you're clean fasting or this is really not gonna do you any good. What do I mean by clean fasting? I mean water, maybe unflavored seltzer water and coffee, black coffee. No artificial sweeteners because they'll trigger your brain and it'll start pumping out insulin because it's fooled and it thinks that it's eating something sweet. And this is just gonna mess with your insulin resistance and you don't wanna do that. So fast clean for 36 hours. So what happens during that 36 hours? Well, number one, I'm getting some great fat burn. And I'm also going pretty deep into autophagy. Now, what is autophagy? Simply put, it's your body eating itself and it's your body repairing itself. During autophagy, your body will kick out old, weak cells and replace them with new ones especially up in your brain, up here in your noggin. And let me tell you what, the ketones that you're making during this time period that your fat is turning into ketones and your body is living off of those, your brain loves ketones. So if Monday is a stressful day for you, hey, guess what? On Monday, you'll be burning ketones and your brain will be working like it's never worked before. And you'll get more things done and you'll get them done in a more efficient manner. I firmly believe that because I've seen it in my own life. And also during that time period, towards the end of that 36 hours, your body starts churning out growth hormones. And growth hormones are wonderful. They're wonderful, you need them. So there we have it. We got fat burning, we got brain repairing, we have body and cell repairing, and we have growth hormones. Those are all wonderful reasons to do a 36 hour fast. Is it easy to do a 36 hour fast? Not if you just dive right into it. That's why I tell everybody, you need to be in internet intermittent fasting for a while and work up to this. And as soon as you feel like you can do it, start doing it and you'll thank me for it later. Now, the monk fast, meal this Monday, 3612. Listen, it'll work for you in so many ways if you can do it. And let me hear you, I can do it. And it'll reset a lot of things in your body that need to be reset. So join me on this journey and let's all do meal this Mondays. I think you'll like it. I think you'll appreciate it, and I think you'll see the benefits from it.